the sound of the deadly mosquito. More than half a billion mosquito nets have been distributed around Africa to try and protect the populations from malaria. But at the same time as helping many people, some of these free mosquito nets have been used for fishing, and fish stocks in the oceans, lakes and rivers are being devastated. Ripple Africa works in Malawi, where the population of 18 million people depend on the fish from Lake Malawi as their main source of animal protein. But due to overfishing and the use of free mosquito nets, the fish are being wiped out. Not only do women and children catch baby fish with individual mosquito nets in the shallow waters, but as fish have become more scarce, many fishermen have turned to fishing with huge drag nets, often made from hundreds of mosquito nets, purchased cheaply from mothers who have been given the nets by aid agencies to protect their families from malaria. This is all the fish that they caught from this huge net. There are now virtually no fish to catch in Chia Lagoon. This mosquito net is made out of about 200 mosquito nets, which means that hundreds of children are now not being protected from malaria. So this is the main entry into Chia Lagoon and the fishermen are putting nets right across, so if any fish are coming in or out, uh, they catch them. The fish don't stand a chance. Ripple Africa, together with the fisheries department, hold regular meetings with chiefs, fishermen and local communities to make them aware of the problems and empower them to be the solution to stop the use of mosquito nets for fishing. So are you keen to have this fish conservation project? Yeah, of course, we're keen to eat. Yeah? Yeah. And, and are you going to be feel empowered to confiscate illegal fishing gear? Yes, we can be very happy to be empowered. In this one fishing net, they have used about 300 nets. What, 300 mosquito nets? Yeah, 300 mosquito nets. And they're meant to be preventing people getting malaria? Instead of using it for malaria protection. In areas where the fish conservation project has been working for several years, the fishermen are now catching large chambo fish like this. But in this area, where they're using mosquito nets, all they're catching is small quantities of very young fish. There's just nothing left. So this is a beautiful chambo breeding area. But look what's here. We have got lots of fishermen with huge mosquito nets that are literally catching everything. There's nine boats full of mosquito net drag nets. All these mosquito nets have been donated by aid agencies. And Malawi has just been given over nine million nets. That's one for every two people in Malawi. Mosquito nets are very cheap down here. So where does he buy the nets from? As people receive from the government, he finds them cheap to buy. So they're free, they're given freely to the women? Yes. And then they buy them from the women? Yes. It costs 500 kwacha, one net for him to buy. 500 kwacha, so it's about 50 pence in, in English money. About 75 cents in US dollars. So you, you've just been saying that these fishermen go out catching the, uh, the baby chambo and they make about 4,000 kwacha, that's about four pounds per night. Yes. Yes, and that's to be split between seven fishermen? Uh, seven fishermen sharing, about 4,000 only. My goodness me. So they're not making very much money, are they? It's not, it's not worth it, is it? It's not worth it. Since the introduction of the project in this area, chiefs and fish conservation committees have made a start and are confiscating huge drag nets made out of mosquito nets. There are just five drag nets in this vehicle, made out of about 1,000 individual mosquito nets. Local fish conservation committees in this part of Malawi are really taking ownership of their fish stocks. So there is hope for the future. <laughs>